You know, when I was meditating in the mountains, an old wise man put a riddle to me. He said, Red, my boy, where are your videos? And that's why I'm here. It's, it's a pretty weak opening, I know, but I couldn't think of anything creative today, so just leave me alone, okay? Now, if you're a young Padawan new to this channel, then I welcome you to Red Chaos One channel, the home of web novels on YouTube for recommendations, reviews, and general web novel content. So please remember to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to support this little channel. I would very much appreciate the support. And it puts me one step closer to reaching the 100 subscribers, which is my dream of this year. And if I reach it, as a special thank you for you guys, I am going to do the review of the BTS web novel and webtoons that we made by Wattpad and webtoon.com. Sorry, I'm going to do reviews of all those six pieces of web fiction content in January if I reach 100 subscribers. Anyway, this book, if you're interested, can be found linked in the description below, as can be found my own book, Phantom Dread, which is an action and fantasy story with sci-fi elements for those of you who don't want the standard vanilla medieval fantasy story and who want fight scenes straight out of a shonen jump manga, which would give my fellow weeaboos a stiffy out. Also, and I know you might be annoyed as to why I'm just shilling myself out here, but just, just, just give me a moment. Also, do you know that I have a Discord? Well, if you're interested in talking to me on Discord or building a web novel community with me on Discord, where we can talk about my videos, we can talk about my book, we can talk about your books, and we can just talk about general web novel content there, yeah, I have a Discord, you will find a link in the description below. And also, I have joined Twitter. So I also have a Twitter account. If you are really interested in a Twitter, like I said, I have a Twitter account. So if you're really interested, you can just come and join me, subscribe there, and we can also talk there. So yeah, I'm very interested in building a web novel community with the rest of you guys. So yeah, there's that. So, our book is called Jotunheim, War of Kings. So yeah, with a title like that, it's obviously going to be epic. It is a Wattpad story by Feeble Bullet that, as of the making of this video, has six chapters published, but four of those chapters are the ones with the actual web novel content. Two of them are more like announcements. So, if you're afraid of joining a story that is too long and you just want to join it from the first few chapters because you're not interested in going like through 68 chapters before you finally catch up with the writer this might be the kind of thing you're looking for now as a standard protocol we need to go over the synopsis of our story in order to get a better understanding of it iran the capital city of alexia with king thorn away from the city marching in full regalia leading an army of 20,000 troops to fight elves or whatnot. And the queen, alongside her and her two princes, reported missing following an attack on the castle two days ago. I'd say the city has begun to descend into chaos, wouldn't you? During a time of war where chaos reigns the continent, follow a band of thieves that consist of a wise old man, a hot-headed witch, and her not so intelligent brother, as they attempt a heist of the largest and most protected vault in the kingdom, the Royal Vault of Thorns, where they come face to face with the soldiers of the crown and one infamous giant slayer. So, so as is my usual synopsis is it good or is it bad segment that i usually do we're going to go into it so i have to say that this one is actually pretty decent it isn't too much as it's a clustered mess of war people 
nor is it too little that it's so big people won't know what it is and they'll probably not be interested it has enough meat on its body the synopsis and it gives away enough that the reader will well it gives it gives away any enough that the reader could possibly be swayed in their opinion so this is a fantasy story and so it might some of you might already be sold on it as that but to those of you who aren't fantasy nerds like yours truly we're gonna have to continue so the story is generally well written with some nice fluent sentences and is greatly edited now i don't care how well a web novel is written which is say i don't care about quality but when it comes to talking about editing it doesn't matter how well or how horribly a web novel is written if your story isn't edited well it's gonna have problems attracting readers. It's gonna have problems getting people to continue reading it. Trust me, you could have the most imaginative story. If your editing is bad, no one is gonna be interested. And this book, thankfully, has some decent editing. And as a fellow web novelist, I know the struggle of how to well edit a story. And anyone who actually bothers to do a good job with this deserves my praise in my sickly humble opinion. Now as far as the actual story goes, it's pretty decent. The story has some fun concepts, like you have your fantasy heist that's going on with these characters, and you have some political intrigue that's going on in the city with the giant slayer and the nobles, and like the story really drives home that the city is a mess with everything that's going down with the king out fighting elves and the people not happy with the high taxes they were given. And then you have these thieves who are coming in to steal from the kingdom. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, there are lots of fan, fun concepts. And unfortunately, since the, like I said, only four chapters worth of content is really there, I'm not sure how well it'll be implemented in the future. But one thing that I can say is well implemented, like well, well implemented, are the character interactions. The characters are really fun. Like their dialogue with each other is fun. It really helps in character building. So yeah, it really helps in a lot of character building. And I'm gonna be honest, this has been a short book, like I mentioned, four chapters worth of content. And this is mainly all I have to say. So like remember the link in the description below for the book if you want to check it out. And if you want to talk to me, my Discord, my Twitter, and also my own book, Phantom Drig, which is an action of fantasy story. And yeah, this is mainly what I wanted to talk about. It's not that much, but I think I've covered everything. So this has been Red Chaos 1, signing off.